It triggered her post-traumatic stress syndrome, <laughs> causing her to flash back to that unfortunate episode with the spider. To play orally to her stranger, I had to lock her up that pumpkin gel. That ought to keep her very well. What? <laughs> a pumpkin shell? I suppose a rubber room would be cost prohibitive. <laughs> Let's keep her on a diet of solid foods. No oatmeal, no cream of cauliflower soup. I don't even want her having vanilla pudding. Otherwise, she could have a total breakdown. That girl is totally off her toughness. We're not here to judge our patients, Nurse Gosling, only to relieve their suffering as best we can. Now, can you please file these charts? I'm expecting a visitor later this morning, and I want everything to be in order. Visitor? Yes, Dr. Zhivago, Chief Medical Officer from Storbuck Land Medical Center, is coming by for an inspection. Uh, inspection? Yes. <laughs> they can't understand why nursery home characters aren't living happily ever after. The insurance companies want to close down all the neighborhood clinics and transfer all our patients to the main Storbuck Land facilities. Oh no, they can't do that! Yes, they can. That's why I want to make an especially good impression on Dr. Zhivago. You can count on me, Mother Goose. I mean, Dr. Goose. Oh dear, there I go again. I'm going to treat a few of our outpatients. Let me know when Dr. Zhivago arrives. Yes, Doctor. You were? Why don't I recognize you? I'm the crooked man. Crooked man? Yes, I live in the crooked house about a crooked mile from here. Of course. Now I remember. I gave you that chiropractic treatment. Straightened you right out. You look great. Straight as an arrow. I must say, I didn't expect such success after only one treatment. What can I do for you? I want you to change me back. Change you back? I want to be crooked again. You're kidding. Why would you want to be crooked again? It's just awful. First of all, being so straight now, I can't bend in either direction. I haven't been able to tie my crooked shoes all week, which is just as well, because my straight feet don't fit in crooked shoes anymore. I found a crooked sixpence against a crooked sky, but I couldn't pick it up. My crooked cat won't speak to me, and the crooked mouse ran away. I told you that your life may need some readjustment. I want my body readjusted. <laughs> Who's going to read a story about an uncrooked man who lives in a crooked house? The meter of my rhyme is all messed up, and if I can't get my story to rhyme, I'll, I'll be evicted from nursery land. All right, if you're sure you'll be happier. I promise. Now that I know the alternative, I'll never complain about being crooked again. So, all right. Lay down on this bench. It goes against my nature, but I've got to do it. Oh, oh. This may be a little uncomfortable. Try wearing crooked underwear for a week. <laughs> Here goes. Exhale. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Not to do it. You can soon enough now. You beat it. I'm back to normal. Oh, thank you, Dr. Goose. I'll never forget this. Not if I live for a hundred crooked years. I'm glad you're happy. You bet I am. I can wobble my knees for joy. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Goose. Goodbye, crooked mare. Thanks again. Dr. Goose, Dr. Goose, he's simply endless. There's your basic black tea, orange pico tea, earl gray tea, chamomile tea, peppermint leaf tea, hibiscus tea. Here she goes. Rose hips tea, raspberry tea, chicory root tea, ginger root tea, chai tea, saffa, petal tea, wild cherry bark tea. There's no stopping her. And there are so many ways to serve it. There's only one thing I'd better up when she gets going. You're right. TNT. Polly, put the, Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on. We'll all have tea. You will. How very nice of you. I just happen to have a pot of eucalyptus leaf tea. Very good for the sinuses. At least it's something. I'm famished. She is so simple. It's my life. We know. All right, for the queen of hearts. How very kind of you, but completely unnecessary. At this clinic, we are all equals, and we each have our secret obsessions with food. And Dr. Goose is helping us back on the road to recovery. Every time she opens her mouth, she makes a speech. What is Dr. Goose, anyway? She's on a house call. I think we should start without her. Yes, I've got to get home and get something to eat. Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater has given me a recipe for dry roasted pumpkin seeds in oat bread batter. And I have a leg of lamb roasting. It's probably swimming and cholesterol and trans fats. I don't care. I like a leg of lamb. Does anyone have anything they want to share? I do. Go ahead. You're among friends. All right. I'm the Queen of Hearts, and I'm a sugar fiend. Hello, Queen. Hello, Queen. Hello, Queen. Hello, queen. As you know, my need for sugar has been controlling my life for a long time. It started when I was a child. My father, Old King Cole, taught me to add sugar to my already sugary breakfast syrup. 
<laughs> there, there. Would you like some eucalyptus leaf tea? Yes, please, with honey and six lumps of sugar. Oh no, see how it happens? Queen, calm yourself. I can't help it, I need sugar, I'll go nuts. I tried our official sweeteners, saccharin, aspartame, Splenda, but they just aren't the same. There's always care of instead of chocolate. Never! <laughs> Is there anything we can do? Just telling my story helps. Maybe Dr. Goose can do something for you. I hope so, otherwise I'll have to go to a storybook lab medical center to see a specialist. I just can't face the publicity, the paparazzi, the scandal. It would ruin me all <laughs> oh, Maybe we should move on to the exercise portion of our session. I agree, if we wait too long, the tea will get cold. Let's go, Clay! What if you're over work out? Let's get moving. All right, now remember, our nutrition and exercise sessions at the Nursery Lab Clinic emphasize balanced diet and moderate exercise. We're not superheroes like in the knowledge books. We're not interested in bulky muscles, just good health. So as we do our routine, go at your own pace, and if anything hurts, stop. Here we go. Jumping jacks. One, two, three, four. Sit-ups, you're doing good, everybody. One, two, three, four. Squats. Keep it moving. One, two, three, four. Push-ups. One, two, three, four. Good job, everybody. Oh. Check your pulses and catch your breath. Since Dr. Goose isn't here yet, why don't we change the nutritional portion of our sessions to a later date? I'm all for that. Let's eat.